Good morning world, welcome back to Painful DIY. I'm Ghetto Pain and today we'll be building a manual and inspection chamber. Right in the corner, yes sir. And we're going to join the rest of the them. Cut this and join everything here. So one pipe will be running from upstairs in this corner. And then our next pipe will be running from the powder room and everything will meet up right here. Okay, so we're doing the manual now. We clean it out. And you gotta leave one foundation down there. And then there's some blocks come up. Like on this pipe now, we can cut this pipe and put a, a X or a plus fittings right here so it won't work. So that's why we make manual so that all the pipe can connect in there and then it go run back down into the septic. So we clean it out now. Me go just run, put a so few steel in there and cast the bottom so that if the ground even sink, it not really crack up. Put it back to the foundation. So a man will go by a whole lot of names. Some people call it utility hole. Some people call it chain, um cable chamber some people call it maintenance oil and so forth and so on but we call it jamaican call it manual or whosoever else can call it manual hmm? you know jamaican that nah me nah go down in a manual you mad and then it's really called an inspection chamber so this is where we hot with it at why we always put the h on everything and take off the H when we're ready and put on the H when we're ready. Okay, so I'm just make a little cage, wire up something so everything can lock together. Just gonna run some. Casting down at the bottom of this and then run some black right on top of it as soon as we cast it. Twenty-four by twenty-four. Alright, that's nearly in the bottom. We'll just join it on back from the original foundation. Then you can lay some black come up on it and then put in some cement to curve to direct the sewage to the pipe. So, guys, this is Payne working on the manual section of the yard today. How are you taking these blocks? Okay. That's the requirement. No manual usually. Yeah. We need to get a little cover from it. You know, when I can't feed the yard, I make it flow level. Okay. So this is where I reach so far. Look good, going good. How much more blocks left to survey? <laughs> so hard. I thought you were gonna be specific and give them a count, like 10, 20 blocks. No. So hard. If you're not come down, I'm not telling you to pass. I'm not coming down, just drizzle and stop. I hope you can. Okay, so the plan for the manual you now, what we have to do is just take off some of the stirrup them. Mm -hmm. Push the pipe in and carry them out from my craft table. I'm going to just bend them out a little bit. Bend this right here, so right here, so 
and then I'll put them back over and just tie them back down tie down tie down and I'm good with the pipe inside the reason why and if we go to all of this work we put the pipe inside uh, we just never want weaken the wall if the pipe did there right here so there would be a thin layer of concrete around the pipe and if any little vibration or anything that would have been the first thing to crack so we protect the pipe in you know that wall now will crack out because of the steel and between this distance to this distance here so to here so it's about two feet or 20 inches so that thickness of the column will hold so the pipe won't weaken the column so we're going to tie up the stirrup then back on this now and then run it in we're going to use a 45 down this one I need have a 90 degree elbow upon it but I never get the flow I want I just want it to run down and dash out and I want it to run down and have it slow down in the bend and then more water for going there to help it out so 45 down there sir and just dash it out so you make me attack I'm mad man in the that's where our lives <laughs> so, we start taking time You know, the right way You know, you know, you body in a competition You just slow down Septic cover here, so 
you know, living in Portmore, it's always in you know, the corner between the four quads them. I know the far down on it going either. Even though the person who built a wall here yeah, broke off the top. I never you never bother build it up back so make a build it back right here so go over this and smooth it off. I don't know if it's supposed to leave a space between it, yes. So I'm going to put a piece of ply between it and then build it up back. This is pure dirt. Pure if you dig it out back and find the concrete. Dirt, mm -hmm. pure dirt. Yes, it's pure dirt. And that is a septic area with all of the four quad them carry them pipe into. But I don't want to burst that. So I make a manual there, so. Cut this, that's how and cut this, that's how and smooth it up, smooth the turn, come around and smooth up the whole of the inside. So that's the plan for the manual. The powder room. I'm going to make our next manual down there, so for the powder room. From here, then it come around and it'll come around and come back in at this. Alright, we are working on the manual so oh, this is the vent pipe two inch my try is to get it down in the manual to vent all of the fumes that will come from the septic because as soon as me cut this pipe all of the fumes from the septic will come up in it and maybe just make it go in at the vent pipe and go out to the, the roof of the first floor, ground floor. All right, hot water pipe. I consider turning it outside, but I don't want to have a wrap around the manual. I didn't know the manual flat on the wall. I don't want to have a wrap around the manual for go back to the kitchen. So I want to turn it on the inside and go to the kitchen. This now is the cold water pipe, um, half inch pipe. But I don't consider it for use a bigger pipe, but I figure, no make no sense because water always gone over here so tank I got up on the roof so I'm going to leave the bigger pipe from the tank go into the bathroom for upstairs now I'm going to put a stop valve right here so so you can lock off and turn on the whole upstairs and then put a next stop valve upstairs to lock off and turn on the tank so if the tank is overflow come down here so come lock it off if you want to maintain or fix the tank, you go upstairs, you lock off the tank alone. So, this is very hot. Guys, tell me if it makes sense to put a vent pipe here, so. Or just make it continue off of the 3 inch pipe for upstairs and continue out. I think that vent is going to be too far away. When it, if it going at the top of the 3 inch pipe for upstairs but we still are going to need a vent pipe for the toilet as soon as you flush the toilet the air bubbles need to come out in order for the feces go down so that's what you have a vent pipe close to the toilet area it's all about so this vent pipe is to take all the fumes from the septic we will come up in the manual and release it in the air now I'm going to go and stay downstairs and I say, ah, smell gas every time I come in and say, I smell gas. Nope. You can seal off the top of the manual. So that's where the vent pipe is going to be coming in. So what we need now is we just put wastewater pipe from the double sink, wash sink that's going to come here. Come down, turn, and come in. That's a wastewater pipe. And then for this pipe, they will continue out here. So, go so and go straight out the road for the water to come in. I push it as close to the wall as possible. So, that we are up on now. I'll get our next piece of warm water pipe, hot water pipe, box up that area there, and cast it in.
All right, so I'm preset it. I'll make sure the angle right and everything and flow. Scent supposed to come up in this, go up and come out. I don't know when time I bust the septic. I'm to the septic. The scent from the whole community now will come up. So. This bad boy. I can see everything from this angle. You know? Some people use primer from them pipe, even when them pipe clean. I just wipe off my pipe exactly which one I want to use. <coughs> so that. And now the time for primer. I'm gonna know me cheap. So priming the thing. It's supposed to melt melt the plastic and then when you glue it on or put it on, it's supposed to well tight. It that yep so when you see me as you're looking like me last year me the last me also looking at my thoughts yeah yeah 